Hey everybody, Mr. D. Flip is here, um, coming to you live from his basement. Today we're gonna do day two of lesson 8.1. So yesterday we did the first part where we learned how to multiply, um, I'm sorry, to find the product of a whole number in a unit fraction. Um, you guys did awesome on that yesterday um, in the videos that I checked. I was really, really impressed along with the pictures that were sent. So today we're gonna to do the second part of 8.1. Um, so what you're gonna to need today is your Unit 8 math book again. Today we're gonna to focus on page 456. So make sure you have that book ready. And then you're also gonna need your lesson 8.1 notes again. We did this side yesterday. We're doing this side today, okay? So that's what you need. Um, as I'm doing this, you don't need a slate today. What we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be filling in page 456 on my easel here. You can see I have it all mapped out already. So you're gonna follow along with me and make sure you're filling this in in your book and also following along in your notes, okay? So let me move this over here. All right. Now, before we dive in today, I want to do a quick review, and this is true for both whole number world and fraction world. So, way back in unit five, we were talking about multiples, 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 multiples. And multiples, when I think multiples, I think of the multiple monster, right? And I told you I was freaked out by the movie Harry and the Hendersons when I was a little four-year-old guy. And he was a scary monster. It was a kid-friendly movie, but he was a scary, scary monster. And we went camping, and I thought Harry and the, Harry was going to get me. Um, so I was thinking the big, 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 big monster. Why am I telling you all this? Because multiple monster. I think of the big monster. Multiples get bigger and bigger and bigger. So when you think of multiples, think of the monster, the big, big, scary monster Mr. D. Flippus was afraid of when he was four years old, Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. So on my slate today, just a quick review. Let me move my phone. I feel like, oh, sorry about that. Oh, now you got the reflection, the glare from my monitor. That might be a little better. All right. So it says multiples, it's skip counting. Think of the multiple monster. Um, they're always going to be getting bigger. So what I did here was I listed the multiples of seven. So what they're doing, what I'm, what I did here was I added seven every single time. So I'm counting by sevens, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, dot, dot, dot. That dot, dot, dot means that it's going on forever. Multiples never, ever stop. They go on forever, just like our number lines go on forever. There's no end. There's no end to number lines. There's no end to multiples. There's no end to number lines, okay? Um, so sevens can be kind of tricky. Today, all you need to know are the multiples of one. But Mr. DeFilippus, aren't the multiples of one? You're just adding one every single time? Mm hmm So again, this lesson is not going to be super difficult. You still want to make sure you're watching the whole video because you want to make sure you know how to fill in the models for today's lesson. All right? So the since we're skip counting by ones, those would be our normal natural counting numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and so on and so on. These are the numbers that Zachary is learning right now. At 20 months old, he's trying to learn these but you guys have learned these numbers way, way back in your lifetime, um, early on. I'm rambling now, I gotta stop. It's a long day. All right, so I'm erasing my slate, and we are gonna go to page 456 in our math book. So if you don't have your math book, pause the video now and go get it, all right? At the top, it says multiples. The product, there's that product word again, the product of a number and a counting number is a multiple of the number. You learned about multiples of whole numbers. That's kind of what I just said. All right. So the products one times four, 
two times four, three times four, and so on, all those products would be multiples of four. So one times four is four, that's a multiple of four. Two times four is eight, that's a multiple of four. Three times four is 12, 12 would be a multiple of four, and it keeps going and going and going. Um, so we can also find multiples of unit fractions, which yesterday we reviewed what unit fractions were. Unit fractions are fractions that are one piece of a whole, all right? One tiny little piece of a whole. It could also be one half of a whole. Um, so the number one thing unit fractions have in common is they all have a numerator of one. Um, on this page, what they did was they showed you some models. So I drew some models on my easel. I'm gonna move it over here. Bear with me, I'm trying to adjust my myself here so you guys can see. No matter where I put the phone in this room, there's always gonna be a glare because of the drop ceiling lighting. All right, so let me tilt this that way. All right, hopefully, hopefully that's okay. All right, so I gotta move the camera anyway because I wanna show you this. All right, so up at the top, it says one times one fourth. And then there's a model here. Now this model, this whole thing represents, from start to finish, represents one whole. I just realized I forgot to fill in the rest. All right, now the multiplication problem we're talking about is one times one fourth. So I only have one fourth shaded in. If I did all four, that would be four fourths or that would be equivalent to one whole. So they want us to find the multiples of one fourth. So in your book, the next one down looks like this. Let me back up, this guy right here. All right, so same thing, I have my one hole here, you can see one fourth is shaded, and then they drop down and they did another one. So now it would be two times one fourth. Well, all I'm doing here, folks, is I'm looking at the two green shaded here, and I'm multiplying two times one. Two times one is two, a lot of people want to do this. They want to multiply two times four. Uh-uh, denominator stays the same. We can see that here why, right? I don't have um, two eighths, I would have two fourths, right? One fourth and two fourths. So my denominator would be two fourths. That's my first multiple of one fourth, all right? So right now in your book, I want you guys to fill that in. Um, actually, it might be done for you already. You'll see that it says equals two fourths. All right, let's hop to over to the next part. So now over here, it says three times blank. All right, so what are we gonna put in that blank? What are we multiplying every single time? And again, we're looking at our models here. So what am I multiplying every single time? one fourth, right? That was my original unit fraction. So three times one fourth. Okay. So again, I can do it, look at it two ways. I can multiply my whole number three times one is three. Or I can see here that I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. What happens to my denominator? it stays the same. So it's going to be a four. Oh, that was wonky. All right, so right now, my multiples of one fourth would be one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. So do we see a pattern here that's starting to happen? The denominators stay the same for all three. The numerator, we're adding one to it every time. All right. So in your book, on that one, make sure that you filled in three times one fourth, and then you're gonna write equals three fourths. 
All right, let's move down to the next one. So this would be, I'm going to back up. This would be at the bottom, underneath the two force. All right, now they're telling us four. They give us the whole number four. Four times one fourth. I'm going to fill that in here. Okay, what does that equal? Let's count. So we can count too, right? One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. So four times one fourth equals four fourths. What's the other way we could do it? We could also multiply our whole number four times the one. Four times one is four. Denominator stays the same. All right, so our next multiple was four fourths. All right, and then they give us one more, and this one they wanted us to fill in everything. So let's look at how many models are we looking at this time. And there's a pattern. Don't forget the pattern's continuing. I have one model, or I should say one hole. Think of this as one hole, two holes, three holes, four holes, five holes. So my whole number would be five times, I'm multiplying, right? Because I have a bunch. And I'm going to multiply one fourth. So five times one fourth. Okay. So five times one fourth, five times one is five. My denominator is going to stay the same. So my next multiple is 5 fourths. Okay. Another way to look at it, like I did before, you're just counting. 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths. All right. So this lesson particularly is not super difficult because we're just dealing with unit fractions. Later on, we're going to see um, not just unit fractions, we'll see all types of fractions where we'll be counting by multiples. So at the very bottom of your page, I'm sorry, not the very bottom of your page, but the very bottom of this problem, it says multiples of one fourth are one fourth blank, 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 blank. All right, so let's fill in these blanks. So we know our first one was one fourth. What's my next multiple? So I'm looking at my work, two fourths. Okay, so write this down in your book. Two fourths. All right, what's my next one? All right, I'm going over. I see it's three fourths. Notice all my multiples. I have three written so far. Look at all my multiples. All three of them have the same denominator, four. And the pattern is, well, I don't want to say it yet. Let's keep going. But I think you probably can see it. All right, what's my next one? I'm looking at this one now. It would be four fourths. And then my very last one, it's the last one we did, which would be five-fourths. And that is an improper fraction. Okay. So what is my pattern here? So my denominators are staying the same. And every single time, the numerator is adding one. That's my multiple. Okay. So each time, we added one-fourth to it. All right, so what you guys are going to do today for your independent work, sorry, I'm like super close in the camera right now. <laughs> you guys are going to go to the same page you were working on yesterday, which would be 457. And today you guys are going to do number five and number six. And I want you to try... Nope, just do number five and number six. Two problems, all right? You can either do the same thing you did yesterday. You can send me a, um, send me a photo through Dojo or email, or you could also post it in the Flipgrid, whatever's easiest for you, all right? But that has to be done today, which is Wednesday, and I hope everyone is doing well. And if you have any questions, I will be in room 130 till about 11 o'clock. All right, guys, see you soon.